Close the window. Signora. Ashtray? Over there. Franco. The Gino Franco? Don't make him sound like a celebrity. He's just a gangster. But he is important. Was important. Call the morgue. Si, si. Your husband. I was with a man. Gino came here. He didn't have a gun. My friend did. This man, what is his name? Gino's associates take revenge very seriously. They will find and kill him. They also punish unfaithful wives. Your friend's name? His name is Rocco. Frank Rocco. Rocco. I want a general alert put out for Frank Rocco, American citizen resident in Rome. Check Aliens Bureau. Then records sick.
Bonjour. Hello, I did ring. Yeah, hold it. I said I did ring, but you probably didn't hear for the sound of the music. Sorry? I said you probably... Why didn't you switch that thing off? I think I'll switch that thing off. Now, let's start again. Hi. Hi, and uh, hello. Hmm. Nice. Uh, you're five minutes fast. Good bones. And the mouth is beautiful. And look at that nose. Now, that nose really turns me on. Yes, well, if you'd uh, turn yourself off, I might say something nice about you, too. Oh, yes, please do. Pay me compliments and flatter me outrageously. I'll do anything for a man who tells me I'm lovely. I do believe you're playing hard to get. What's your name? I'm Sid. That has a nice feminine sound. It's short for Sidoni. Now, what do you want to do? Shake hands or kiss? Uh, well, I like to stick to the conventions. Have a brief courtship first. How long? Oh, 10, 15 minutes. I hate long engagements. Does this mean we are? Mm. You may kiss me. The kissing bandit strikes again. Oh, it's another one of those days. I can't let you out alone. Hi. Oh, Worked. What worked? Well, I paid a witch doctor a fantastic sum of money to turn you into a toad. It was oh, worth every cent. You've got to forgive him. The brain transplant didn't work, uh, Sid. What? Uh, you've got a panel truck, haven't you? Uh, yeah. Could I be able to borrow it? Well, because why? Well, because you're a doll and I need your truck. <laughs> you just love me for my truck. Does this mean our engagement is up? Certainly uh, not. And that's something that you both like to know. I'm fickle. <laughs> uh, good night, Dad. There's some pictures upstairs. You'll love them. Brit, you got my message. Well, now, that's a damn silly question, isn't it? Or you wouldn't be here. Well, uh, what's the uh, sudden interest in photography, or is it safe? Well, we had to find a safe place to meet. Oh, this is uh, Manny Howard. He's with the American... Uh, not in this capacity, Judge Fulton. No, 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 no of course not. Uh, our meeting is strictly off the record, Brett. Oh, and uh, this is uh, Frank Rocco. I'm sure you've heard of him. Oh, yes, I read the crime pages avidly. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a businessman. Yes, protection business, isn't it? Yes, well, the American Treasury Department have him cold on a tax evasion charge, a certain five to ten years. Well, that seems very reasonable. Yes, but while he's here in Italy, they can't touch him. So what's his problem? I just shot a guy. That's my problem. Well, that is a problem. Yeah, someone in the same line of work as me. Now they got every punk gun in the troop trying to put the button on me. Not to mention the Italian police. Well, I hope your insurance is paid up. Look. This is my insurance. There's enough information in there to put the nail on a lot of top operators. And in return for that information, Mr. Howard's people have agreed to see the charges are reduced against Rocco and ship him back to the state. Like I said, I'm a businessman. Brett, with uh, what he knows, they could indict the man at the top. While he gets away scot-free. Perhaps. But in view of what he can tell them, a lot of other people won't. It could be the biggest breakthrough yet against organized crime in America. I'd like you to help, Brad, but uh, of course the decision is yours. Voila. The 
to go. Go? I can get up to 35, 40 miles an hour oh, with this. Oh, Did you, did you actually buy this? No, nope. I got it as a straight swap for my previous vehicle. What was that, a kitty cart? <laughs> oh, very funny. Come on, get in. Well, uh, yeah, but, uh, look, I don't want to be personal, but... You don't like lady drivers. Well, that's not what I said. Uh... No, I said it for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I have absolute positive identification. The cab driver? Mm -hmm. He went through the file pictures and with no hesitation at all picked out Rocco immediately. Ah. And he drove him here? Set him down near the market less than an hour ago. Then the chances are he's still in that section. <sighs> all right, what do you want me to do? Get Rocco over the frontier, that's all. Is that all? Once he's out of Italy, we've no problems getting him back to the US. The truck's coming out. Is Danny in on this? Yes. And the girl? No, she knows nothing about Rocco. Hmm. Well, what about details? Oh, uh, Danny has all those. Our immediate problem is to uh, get him past those roadblocks. You wouldn't believe the way this girl drives. To miss the traffic, she drives on the sidewalk. <laughs> Are you all set? It's all set. The truck's in the alley. Well, Rocco, as they say in Italian westerns, and the armor. Excuse me, your judgeship, but is his lordship coming? Yes. It's an old family maxim. Never send a boy to do a man's well, work. Well, I'll take your... Wait a minute. Away. You understand you are strictly on your own on this. I mean, we mustn't involve the American embassy. Right. Well, they may take your passport away. Here, drink this. It's later than you think. Get inside. Now, I figure they're going to take a quick look. But if they spot him, we make a break for it. Brilliant strategy. You follow me in the car. See, si, Superintendent. Right. OK, pal, inside. Here you are, pal. This is where you're going to stay. Well, I'm not getting in that filthy garbage. Well, we didn't have time to well, get clean. Come on, now, wait a minute. I'm not getting in there. Just get in. Who is your toe? Thank you. All right, now, quiet. Just move your legs in. That's it. Move them in there. That's better. Now, be as quiet as a mouse. Oh, that's fine, Danny. Come on, come on. I can't breathe. Well, you better play dead, or else you're going to be dead. Captain, I've marked the spot where we're to meet if anything goes wrong. Juliet? Yes. Goodbye. Mm. Is this an excuse me, or can we all join oh, in? sorry. Mm, I like it. I like it. Yes, well, just remember where we stopped. Stay close behind. I may never leave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Me too. Not a chance. You're not coming, Sid. Forget it. Look, beautiful I may be, but dumb I am not. You've got Frank Rocco in there. I don't know what you're talking about. This could turn out to be the hottest photo news story of the year. Smuggling a wanted criminal out of the country and pictures all the way. Sydney, you're not coming. You stop me and I'll blow the whistle on you. <laughs> okay, your way. Mm, yeah. Good. <laughs> Frank, here come the fuzz. Look so serious. Ah, uh, si, si, grazie, ciao, goodbye. Fermate, fermate. Aprite, aprite. Aprite. Scusi, open, open. Uh, scusi, uh, photographica. Take pictures, click, click. <laughs> How's that? Excuse me, I told you it's for Photographica. You know, camera take pictures, click, click. You know, taking pictures is only equipment for the car.
Great shot! I think they'll catch him. Are you kidding? The Scarlet Pumpernickel? Oh. Gloria Swanson. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll use that one to advertise toothpaste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think he's trying to tell us something? Yeah. Sydney, now look. It's going to be a little rough where we're going. And if I... you're building up to try and get rid of me, forget yeah. it. Well, you're just put together so nicely, I don't want to see you torn apart. You just keep right on talking, and I'll keep on staying. You're cute, too. Relax, it's normal. This thing uses more water than gas. Oh, really? Io vorrei un gran bottiglia di acqua per la macchina. Sì, signora. Grazie. Why don't you go and get us some grub? I'll check in the back. Oh, Snow White. <laughs> time to get up. It's about time. It's like a washing machine in here. Where are you going? I'm riding up front. Sit down. You're not riding anywhere but, but Don't be stupid. This is the country. Who's going to recognize me out here? Well, nobody's going to recognize you if you stay in the truck. All right, Boy Scout, you want to play the big shot? I won't spoil your fun. We're going to stay inside until we meet Brett. We don't have to wait for him. I say we keep moving. Sit down. What's wrong with you, Junior? You trying to make time with that chick? Ordering me around to show her what a tough man you are? Come on, I've got the food. Oh. Oh, I'm starved. And some fine old vintage wine. Oh, terrific. Here, you're hungry? Start. You think we got enough? No, you better go get some more. Drive the truck, Boy Scout. That's what you're here for. Bon appetit. Oh, grazie. Grazie, grazie. prego. Grazie. Thank you. <laughs> Is this what you're looking for? Yeah. Boy, oh boy. You know something? You're sneaky. <laughs> Not as sneaky as you. worried about Brett, are you? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We're gonna rest here for a while. Oh, promises, promises. Ah, oh, a voice in the wilderness. Coming! Thanks. Shots of me, no, no newspaper. Will you, will you, will you quiet down now? You scare me to death, big boy. Come on, come on, calm down. Let's eat first, and then we'll fight later. Well, he started it.
What's so funny? How come you're buried out here in the middle of no place with a beat-up old truck and a chance of getting your head blown off, huh? I need the money. Oh, don't give me that. I come from the same stinking slum as you. You made it big, so why this? I really want to know. Why? I haven't got time to explain it to you. For kicks, you can go out and stick up a gas station. Now, wait a minute. Maybe you, but not me. I wasn't trained for that kind of work. Okay, let's go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not going till Brett gets here. He's not going to get here. He's not, huh? No. Well, we're going to wait anyway. I think you'd better give me back those keys. Playtime's over. Now what are you doing? The keys. Car's coming! Scare you to death. I knew you'd make it. Well, I'm sorry if I'm late. You know, those police drivers really are remarkably good. I had to change cars three times before I finally shook them. How do you like it? Not bad. Where'd you get it? It was the only car in the street with the keys left. Oh, in. brilliant, Holmes. Brilliant. Thank you. Tell you something else. That little radio in there turned out to be a mine of information. This is the hottest car in Italy, hmm. and that is the second. <laughs> I win first prize. So, what do we do now? Walk. Walk? Walk. Walk. Any bookmaker laying odds would have given a thousand to one against Rocco getting out of that roadblock. Coffee. <laughs> you know, you've got to give them credit. Breaking out of that cordon was audacious enough, but <laughs> to stop everything by getting away in a police car. <laughs> we'll get them yet. It's only a matter of time. Time? It takes centuries long. Millions of square miles, thousands of roads. We are looking for four people in country where you could lose an army. Our only hope is we put up our checkpoints on the right routes. And for their sakes, I hope we get to them before the others do. Brusati. Where? Huh? Uh huh? They found the cars. Here. Left the cars. Chances are they're on foot in this area. Contact all our people in this district. Keep cruising. Way in a big, big old house. Anybody home? Oh, uh, yeah. The lights are on. People are dancing. How do I know if anybody is home? Well, as Chief Scout, you're supposed to find out these yeah, things. Yeah, if you got a pencil and paper, Before. I'm going to give you my resignation. Oh, I'm out. great God. I mean, I'm glad to stand you. Will you be fair? Oh. I do all the worrying, all the thinking. All you have to do is take the risks. All right, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. All right, all right. No, I'll go back and wait with the others. You go up and, okay. and arrange some food and a right. car. I apologize. Oh, stop apologizing. Okay. Excuse me. What am I apologizing about? What is it with me? Why does he get me something? <sighs> Sorry. I <sighs> didn't mean to make you jump. Oh, I didn't jump. I just had a nervous breakdown. Well, you can relax for a few seconds, huh? Daniel is off scouting around, and knowing him, he'll probably come up with a luxury hotel. Mm. How's that? Mm, not bad. 
I don't think I could put up with it for more than six or seven hours. Where's uh, Rocco? Oh, he's off somewhere playing lookout. <sighs> By the way, anytime you feel like kissing me, just feel free. Sid, did, didn't anybody ever tell you that girls are supposed to be shy, retiring creatures? <laughs> yes, hmm? yes, they did. But when I see something in a store that I like, I go in and get it. Hmm. Oh, is that so wrong? No. No, that's uh, my style of life, too. And Annie's. What are you shopping for? Funny enough, neither of us knew until we met Judge Fulton. Oh, don't give me that poor little rich boy stuff again. No, I, I'm serious. A year ago, I was uh, racing at Monza. Came off the track at 130 miles an hour. Yeah, I know. I saw the pictures. Oh, but the funny thing is, I... I didn't feel anything. No excitement, no fear. Nothing, but during the few jobs I've done for Judge Fulton, I've come alive again. Well, I thought that you did things for strong, noble reasons, like justice and integrity and all that sort of thing. That is uh, what the judge likes to think. I let you into a little secret. What? Quite frankly, I'm having the time of my life. See what Danny's up to. Well, well, he's a lovely guy. He's an Italian count. I told him uh, our car broke down and he's going to arrange not only dinner, but he's going to arrange another car. Food? Oh, I love him already. Well, I'm sure, he's straight. Well, he's an Italian county. Could be a relation. I doubt that very much. He could be the chief of police, for all I care. I'm starving. Well, come on, let's go. <clears throat> we are enchanted that the fates have brought you to our home. Your presence brings luster to our drab life. Oh, thank you. You will honor our house if you will accept a glass of wine. Oh, you're more than gracious. Uh, I'd love to freshen up a bit first. Uh, you will find all you require through there. Thank you. How do you like a little luster in your drab life, then? Well, that means having my hand kissed. Well, Count, this is real hospitality. Are you sure you it is my pleasure? Thank you. Thank you. He's got a groovy pen, I'll tell you that. Come in. You have a beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Once my family owned all the land in the area. But war, taxes, and generations of profligacy... He's got the same problem. ...have reduced our standards to understanding and hospitality. Understand. How soon do we Sorry. get a car? I will telephone for one immediately. But it will take some hours to reach here. Oh, then we can't wait. Come on, we got to keep moving. Uh, will you uh, sit down? Sit down. Have a drink. Here. It will take only a moment to prepare your rooms. Oh, you're more than kind, but we'll be quite comfortable here. Thank you. As you wish. Now, if you will excuse me, I will prepare your food. Ah, permesso, signorina. Now, that is Mr. Charm himself. Why don't you three ask if he gives lessons? Look, we're wasting time, and that's dangerous. Rocco, we know you're trying to qualify for the Olympic boring team. Well, we have news for you. You have qualified, so just sit down and relax. Oh, yeah, relax, relax. It's my head that's on the chopping block. Do what his lordship says, now. <sighs> to our host, an aristocrat and a gentleman. Si. Quattro persone. Si comprende. Thank you. Signore. Grazie. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Uh, Count, it's been a wonderful dinner, beautifully served, excellent. Uh, a little fruit, perhaps? No, uh, thank you. A water eye. That must be something I can do for you. Well, thank you. You've done everything already. Um, apart from that, we've kept you from your bed far too long. No one could feel tired in the presence of such a beautiful lady. But if you feel you're quite certain there is no more you require, 
Perhaps your car will arrive before I'm awake, and we won't have the opportunity to say goodbye. So, if you will permit me. Thank you. Thank you very much. What is this? Uh, your account, gentlemen. Account? No. A dinner for four, drinks, accommodation, uh, use of facilities. It is all itemized. Account? You mean it's... You mean this is a bill, right? Well, pay the gentleman, Danny. Uh, isn't that a lot of bread for a meal? Uh... Ah, no, signore. Not just for a meal, but for the privilege of having it in my home. I never thought of that. Yes, well, I would like to say it has been a pleasure and an outrage to meet you, and the uh, cost of your hospitality was more than compensated by the mere charm of your presence. Yes. Here you are. And one another. Yes, one another. Good enough. I'll this for a receipt. One another. Good night. Buona sera. Good night. Good night. Well, you're Danny, boy. Been... you know something? What? You've been taking yeah, drink right. that. I'm going to take the whiskey home with this. You two still you you walked us right into this. What are you complaining about, you had a nice meal? I paid for it, remember? Ah. Ingratitude. Daniel. My lord. their way to the frontier by now, if they get lucky. They usually are. They're cool customers. They're probably treating the whole thing like a leisurely Sunday afternoon drive. Hmm? 
there isn't any turn off in this road for about 20 miles. The way he drives, who needs roads? Wait, a moving time. wait a minute. Another roadblock. You're kidding. Okay, everybody out. What now? Walk. Walk. I tell you, it'd be much closer if you had stopped complaining. Do you mind very much if we stop for a minute? Why not? <sighs> oh, how is it you're always clean? Because I think clean. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Look at them. A murderer and a gentleman? <laughs> That's it, fellas. Not another step. <sighs> Here, pull up a rock and rest a second. Finished. Beat. Kaput. Just give me one good reason why I should go any further. If I was a horse, you'd shoot me. Want any more reasons? Out! Out! Le biciclette, dove sono? I'm just an old worrier, but there are two awfully familiar cars down there. Can we outrun them? Oh, yes, if you get out and push and you can do the 10 mile a minute mile. Okay, Sid, Rocco, we're gonna drop you off at the next bend. Hey, now, wait a minute. And you can foot it from there uh, uh, to the rendezvous, which is marked here on the map. If you think that I'm gonna get Sid, out... Sid, just be quiet and do what you're told. We're going to take them for a little scenic drive, and then we'll meet you round about sunup. <laughs> With any luck, you'll have some champagne on ice. Go that away. I'll see you later. Hey, but... Hey! Oh, my... That away! Wait! Wind her up. You know, Brad, I'm worried. Why, they'll make it. I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about us. Oh, sweet. That's off.
Come on. They're still with us. And you're still worried. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt. Do you think these guys would stop for a truce while we change a tire? I think it's hardly likely. Well, I got another possibility then. Which is? Why don't you make the supreme sacrifice? Give up your life. Then I can get away. That is what heroes do. You know I'm not like that. Right. Well, then you know we can do something else. Stop the car and we'll run. As a matter of fact, I got him. It was mine. Now, I'm telling you, it was mine. I could tell from the angle in which I shot. We wait. About another mile. You mean we crossed the border already? It's a smuggler's route. You think I'll make it? restless again. How many are they? Seven. There are six of them. Seven. You want to bet? Hundred dollars? Will you take a check? I bag someone with a black hat. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's the wholesale position on bullets? The bottom just fell out. Certified. <coughs> you know, something that could kill you. What are you doing? Making it tougher for them to get in. And what are you doing? I go, I go tidy. <laughs> this is the point where the cavalry use your rides. Yeah, that's in uh, Donald O'Connor movies. You know, my uh, great great grandfather, the seventh Earl, was once in a spot like this. Oh, yeah? What happened? Where? In India. In India, he was uh, cut off from his regiment, out of ammunition, mm -hmm. surrounded by at least 10,000 tribes. And... Wow. What did he do? You know he what do? he did? What did he do? Oh, for me? Thank yeah. you. Well, he, uh, he drew his sword. And all alone, entirely alone, he walked out to face them. Wow. What happened? Hmm? Oh, they killed him. Listen, how is it... Shh. Is it my imagination, or has it suddenly gone quiet? 
It certainly suddenly did. And that's odd. They're winning and they pick up their marbles. Hey, listen. <laughs> it's the cavalry. Well, we did a little better than your grandfather. Yeah, without a sword. What are you doing? I'm making it a little easier for them to come in. Want to give me a hand? Oh, you put them there. Well, oh, Sid and Rocco should be home safe and dry right now. Yeah, I guess so. Excuse me, will you? You uh, don't have another flask. No, I don't. I figure with good behavior, it'll only be three years in front of the uh, firing squad. <laughs> Entree, we have guests. Well, come on in. Why don't you bring your horses? You know, I've always been a great admirer of the police. As a matter Danny, of fact, I think you're wasting your time. You mean, well, you know, oh, oh, yes, be a Jerry de dire, a better yes. to a casa nostra. As a matter of fact, I was thinking that... Uh, Danny. Yes. Danny, I... I think there's something you ought to know. You will admit my small deception worked beautifully. Our compliments to your twisted brain. You mean these are not real policemen? Keep watch out, Thank you. You've given me a hard time. Oh, we are hoping to continue. And it looks like you've won. No Rocco? Oh, no, no Rocco. He's over the border. You may still be able to catch him if you want. Oh, yes, of course. The uh, Midnight Rendezvous. We have a most efficient intelligence network. Well, you, uh, you seem to know it all. Not quite all. The meeting place, for instance. What you're going to tell me. Plenty of time to reach him. Now, the place? Davanti a even minor bullet wounds can be most painful. I think you'll tell me what I want to know. Don't tell me. He's bluffing. <laughs> He's not bluffing. That time, the hair. I'll ask you once again. Where is Rocco? Right here. And don't turn around. All right, drop the guns. Come on, drop them fast. On the floor. Rocco, the floor. what are you doing here? You're not Frank Rocco. We packed him halfway across Italy. He better be Rocco. Right, your lordship? Danny, if he is uh, not Frank Rocco, he must be Manny Howard, American Embassy, right? Right. It was going to be tough getting Rocco out of Italy, so we switched places. But why is Grace and me? Well, the judge figured you two would carve a trail a mile wide and everybody would follow. He was right. Uh, it's nice, isn't it, Danny? Eh? Judge Fulton and Rocco travel first class without even a second glance. It wasn't glance. all that bad. You believed it, they believed it, it worked. Why'd you give us such a hard time? I mean, what was that well, all about? I had to no. keep in character. Uh, would you like this for character, punch in the mouth? Later. Later. The Rocco and the judge want to say goodbye. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to say goodbye to the judge, yeah. too. Will you tell something to Rocco? Tell him we have many friends, big connections in the United States. His life is a very temporary event. I still think you're one of the greatest See you later, pal. In the world. Take it easy, Judge. Bye. Peace. So long. That's where I'd like to be. I've got some news for you. That's what? Right. That's not Frank Rocco? No. You're joking. No, he is not joking. That's about the size of a kid. You mean all I've got is some pictures of an American agent? Yeah, just about. But I took hundreds of shots. Hundreds. Well, some nice ones of us. Well, you still have the uh, toothpaste ad, remember? Oh, toothpaste ad. Oh, come on, Sid. It's not that bad. It's really rather a giggle. Oh, sure. I'm hysterical. Where's your sense of humor? Whoa! For one terrible moment, I thought you were going to drive off and leave us standing there. With the nearest town 30 miles away? Now, that really would be a giggle. 